If you want to populate Mars, then Starship is the vehicle to do so. In fact, that's what we usually think of when we wonder how we're going to get to Mars. Starship. It was created with the original purpose of helping humanity preserve civilization if Earth were to experience a cataclysm, such as a large asteroid impact. But Musk also plans to use the Starship for satellite launches. In June of 2021, he wrote on Twitter that Starlink missions would move over to Starship. But that's not all. With the billionaire's vision, Musk has set his eyes on the cargo transport sector and plans to revolutionize it. And now, it's bringing huge profits for Musk. Recently, SpaceX has won a $102 million five-year contract from the U.S. Air Force to help transport military cargo and humanitarian aid around the world using a heavy rocket. This is the largest contract awarded to date for rocket cargo, and they certainly have compelling reasons to choose SpaceX. This responsibility requires a powerful Starship configuration. So how much can the Starship really carry, and how will SpaceX deploy it for cargo transportation? Let's find out in this video to see how superior it truly is. Whether you're shipping personal possessions, business products, or whatever it is, you expect your shipment to arrive quickly, at the cheapest price, and without a hitch. Choosing a shipping method depends on a variety of factors, most importantly weight, class, and destination. From the very beginning, the need to transport goods appeared with the most rudimentary tools. Gradually, over time, the forms of transportation have also increasingly diversified. The fact is, each year more than 10 billion tons of cargo is moved by ship, billions of tons more are moved by road, rail, and air. International trade was the driving motivator behind advancements in global transportation. As new inventions and discoveries were applied, travel time decreased while the ability to move more and larger loads increased. Innovation continues as transport researchers are working to find new ways to reduce costs and increase transport efficiency. The need to move cargo, however, is not limited to the Earth. For example, SpaceX shipped cargo to the ISS for NASA, and now they've gone on to win an important contract. The Pentagon is interested in being able to deliver cargo anywhere in the world in order to support humanitarian aid. During mid-2021, the U.S. military expanded a small development program that wants to leverage reusable rockets, like those of SpaceX, to deliver cargo quickly to anywhere in the world. The experimental program, called Rocket Cargo, is led by the U.S. Space Force. The Pentagon said at the time, the program will research and help develop capabilities such as landing a rocket on a wide range of non-traditional materials and surfaces, engineering a rocket cargo bay and logistics for rapid loading and unloading, and airdropping cargo from the rocket after re-entry in order to service locations where a rocket or aircraft cannot possibly land. This contract has proven that SpaceX is the best choice right now, and here are reasons why. <laughs> Rocket Cargo effectively describes the Starship rockets that SpaceX is developing, as the military program will look at fully reusable private rockets that can launch between 30 and 100 tons. Currently, Starship is the only rocket in development that plans to both be reused and launch that much mass. That's right, Starship is really powerful. In fact, it's the most powerful rocket ever to be built. The rocket produces a propellant capacity of a massive 3,300 metric tons and a thrust capability of 72 meganewtons, thanks to its collection of Raptor engines. The Saturn V rocket thrust was only 35 meganewtons by comparison. With this much power, Starship is beating out every other rocket, including the Falcon series. Where the Falcon 9 can launch around 16 tons to low Earth orbit in reusable configuration, the Starship can launch over 100 tons. This extraordinary capacity makes the Starship the darling of the cargo hauling industry as it will allow you to carry as much as you want. Secondly, the Starship has a large volume, endowing it with the ability to hold a variety of goods of different sizes. The payload volume is a massive 1100 meter cubed and can fit a load up to 18 meters in height and 9 meters in width much more than what other rockets offer currently. Thirdly, reusability is a feature of Starship. It helps reduce shipping costs many times compared to competitors. Rockets have traditionally been one expensive method to transport cargo, but SpaceX accomplished a feat no previous rocket has achieved, reusability quickly to make spaceflight more akin to air travel, instead of the traditional approach of discarding the rocket after launch. 
Musk once said it was a crazy waste, and he went against the trend by all means. With this feature, Musk claims the ship could cost just $2 million per launch, severely undercutting the Falcon 9's $62 million price tag, a lot less than the competition is doing. And this is certainly not the final price offered because the tech mogul still has plans to lower the price even further. Finally, speed and travel time. Point-to-point -point space travel is a term that has probably become familiar. It's a form of transportation in which a rocket would launch into space and then return at another location, making it hypothetically capable of bringing supplies or possibly people from one side of the Earth to the other in under an hour. And now, SpaceX's Starship can get from New York to Shanghai in less than 40 minutes. Can you believe it? And how can it do so? It's because of its speed. Starship is capable of moving at a dizzying rate of 16,777 miles per hour, which is quite impressive. This would explain why it can cover long distances in a short time like no other vehicle. Now, for comparison, a typical commercial passenger jet flies at about 500 miles per hour. This is more than enough to prove that Starship will leave all cargo planes in the dust. Or mist? Cloud? I, I don't know. And of course, we have to end things off by talking about the latest victory for SpaceX. Like I mentioned before, the aerospace company has secured a 5-year $102 million US Air Force contract on the 14th of January to demonstrate technologies and capabilities for military and humanitarian aid. But what you didn't know is they're going to transport cargo that's about a C-17's worth in an hour. The contract is part of the Air Force's rocket cargo program that I mentioned before too, to develop the capability to rapidly send cargo anywhere in the world on a rocket. Greg Spangers, rocket cargo program manager, said in a statement that the contract formalizes a government-industry partnership to help determine what exactly a rocket can achieve when used for cargo transport. What is the true capacity, speed, and cost of the integrated system? Spangers said that the Air Force plans to award other companies contracts as well. But of course, that depends on the amount of cargo the U.S. military wants to move. The Starship's payload is not going to always be fully utilized. You don't get a discount for putting 8 tons in a 100-ton rocket. And for one more reason, in the majority of locations where disasters happen that don't have commercial spaceports nearby, the Air Force is exploring a large range of landing options for said sites. And that's all the information we have for you today. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing and would like to continue supporting us in a huge way, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. And don't forget to tell us what you thought about today's content. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. And as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time. <laughs>